Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a tag video. A tag video that I originally seen um, Kristen Game do. And it's called, I Fell for the Packaging Tag. Basically, um, purchasing items based on the packaging. The packaging influenced me to make my purchase. And, or the packaging had a big influence on making the purchase so I have a lot of stuff here uh, because I have been influenced it looks like pretty heavily by packaging which of course companies know that I mean that's why they make everything all cutesy and and to appeal to us but anyway so I'm gonna get started because I have a lot and I'm going to start with some MAC products because we all know that MAC comes out with some really cute packaging and that they come out with a lot of um, collections a lot throughout the year and um, some of those collections I have definitely fallen for um, I probably would have more in my collection if those do if they didn't sell out so doggone fast a lot of them but I guess it's probably good for me because I really don't need any more so anyway let's start with um, collection and I don't know what all these collections were from I can't even tell you can't even remember but I know I have a, a eyeshadow palette from the Archie's Girls collection and of course I found this one at the CCO and I got it just because of the Archie's Girls on here um, that's the only reason I don't even know if I <clears throat> excuse me I've only used this maybe just a couple of times but I still hang on to it because I really like the packaging of it. I don't want to get rid of it because I just think it's so cute. And to go along with that was a lipstick. Also that has the Archie's Girls packaging on it. Um, I don't even know which girl this one is because I wasn't really familiar with, with Archie. But um, have that. And oh, gosh, I've had this for a while. It's probably not even any good, the lipstick. But... I still think it's really cute and then another lipstick that I had was from the um, Toledo collection that came out and it has little um, eyes with the little red lips and of course it's a red lipstick I don't think I'm not going to show you everything because I mean some of this stuff you'll know what it looks like um, what else do I have um, I have an eyeshadow palette from this collection I don't know what it was was it last summer or the summer before but it looks like this southwestern type um, print and that's in the, the outer packaging and then the inner packaging was the same with that there so that influenced influenced my purchase on that one I also have a lipstick and a, um, a lip crayon thing lip balm anyway but I didn't pull those I didn't I just try to get a little bit because we have I have a lot jeepers oh this collection I was one summer and this was I tell you what there is a lot of people talking about this collection the packaging because the packaging looks like it has water drops on it so I have an eyeshadow and I also have a um, blush from that collection I'm pretty sure I had a lipstick too but I don't see it anywhere so not a blush a bronzer so I have that just strictly purchased because of the packaging and a lot of, a lot of it was because of the hype of it because there were so many people talking about this packaging and how cool it was that it had the little the little a texture on it that makes it look like it has raindrops on it so I have that and then this one, another one for MAC. And this was another summer collection. I think it was the Wash and Dry collection, maybe. Anyway, and then the lipstick bullet was also those different colors also. So the rainbow colors, metallic looking. I don't think I have anything else MAC. That's just, oh yes I do. I have this. This I think I got from Nordstrom Rack. Not Nordstrom Rack, but Nordstrom. And um, I, 
That was the Rebecca somebody, Rebecca Moody collection maybe. But anyway, she has the little lips and um, eyes on here. And the inner packaging was the same way. So pretty much strictly bought that because of the packaging and I don't want to get rid of it because I like the packaging of it also. Another item was um, the Wizard of Oz collection. I think this was at Sephora. And um, this is the Theodore, Theodore collection. Um, there was also one, I think, for, for Glinda, I think. I had it, but I think I gave it away. But I did keep this one for the packaging. And has, um, what is her name? Myla Kunis, Kunis, Kunis. I don't know how to say her name, but anyway, that girl. We know who that girl is. She's married to Ashton now. And a little tin packaging. So I still have that, and it had the little card in it. It has her in it. Um, strictly packaging. I didn't even think I had even used this. Maybe once, maybe twice when I first got it, but that was all I used it and then from NARS I have the Stephen Klein um, palette here eyeshadow or not an eyeshadow it's a blush in just a blush palette that I purchased uh, mainly because I liked the photography and the um, the graphics on this and plus um, some of the pictures on some of the items were kind of um, a little controversial a little risque and um, so I have that one. Some other items from MAC that I got. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. Um, there we are. Okay. Was well, some eyeshadows like this. There was three of them that I ordered. And it's the whatever line, whatever kind of eyeshadow. The dual intensity eyeshadows. Anyway, it's from last summer. And unfortunately, you know, the, the inner packaging is just the plain old NARS packaging, which I don't like because it's, it gets dirty and it's just kind of plain anyway. But the reason why I bought those, because I really don't even like that formula of formulation of eyeshadows, to be honest with you. And I have a lot of them, but it's the packaging that gets me. Anyway, the outer packaging of those, there is three of them, look like this here with a little different... Um, girls on it and I wanted them because of the packaging. I still keep these. I have them displayed here in my makeup room so again that was that was almost strictly just for these little packaging here which was kind of silly really because um, it's just little cardboard boxes. Anyway oh gosh so the bomb. Let's talk about the bomb. The bomb, I think everything that they come out with has cute packaging on it. Everything. And I used to have more than what I have of the bomb, but um, I did I did sell some things because it was things I didn't use. And I was strictly purchased because of the packaging. Now some of the stuff I still use, like this one here, Mary Luminizer. I mean you have to love the fact that the girl is being you know, this is like her mug shot. <laughs> Got arrested for being too much of a highlighter, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, Mary Luminizer I have. I have Hot Mama. I don't hardly even wear this. It's really too dark for me, but I just can't get rid of it because I really like the packaging on it. I just think that girl, the lady on there is, you know, with her little red heels and everything. I mean, it's a really pretty blush and everything, but... Hot Mama have that and then I have the boys I have frat boy I have down boy and I have cabana boy I mean come on you've got to have all the boys and plus I'm really like retro uh, mid-century 50s items um, I have a lot of my house de um, decorated that way and so these really really did speak to me so have all those and then of course some more products from the bomb is all of the 
instain blushes that they came out with that look like little um, covers of different magazines with the different um, girls on here from the different um, eras so there's different styles of the way that they're dressed <sighs> I hardly even wear these and I even comped contemplated getting rid of them when I did my purge but I just couldn't because I just really like the packaging of them not only the outside packaging of these the little you know the pictures of the girls but the inside the way that the inside is like this one has um, just like polka dots around it there's one that has the hound's tooth one that has tool so I held on to them because I just think they're really, really cute. I like them. I like the packaging. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, this this one here. This was definitely because of the packaging. Um, where, where is she at? Oh, right here. Okay. I just think that this packaging right here, of course, it's mimicking, you know, Audrey Hepburn during, you know, the breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, seeing but this is the Clio highlight of this Korean brand it's right here I did hear Kristen game talk about this highlight the first time is how I found out about it and then it was on Hot look and I had to buy it um, because of this and I've kept the little box because I have the little box displayed along with those other little NARS boxes of the different um, ladies there I just like I like that kind of stuff and I like to have my my room decorated with it so yep 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 okay here recently recently something that I think I probably purchased strictly because of the packaging and when I show this to you you're going to know because my channel used to be called Mrs. Porter Peach um, it's now just Janie Rankin but um so anyway, peach, peach, and peach from Too Faced. I mean, how could I not? Okay. So yes, strictly for the packaging. Um, hardly use them. Um, but yeah, the packaging. Love the colors. Some of my favorite colors anyway. And of course, you know, the fact that it's peaches and it's the little tin, and it's just really cutesy, and this little smiley peach, I mean, he's just so cute. And packaging got me, once again. And also from Too Faced, this little guy here. This little guy gets a lot of bad rap when he came out. Um, they came out with this during holiday. And I will tell you that it is pricey for what it is, but I I travel with this, and I really like it for travel, but I just thought, you know, just being a little bitty chocolate bar, and the fact that it smells like chocolate, yeah, this got me. And just being so small and cute and compact, it got me. Yes, it did. Okay, some more products from Tory Burch that I found at Nordstrom Rack and decided I needed all of them because they were just so doggone cute. And it's just these little boxes here, these little book looking things that have the different eyeshadows in them. Just little eyeshadows, but they just look like little journals. That's what they look like, little mini journals that you would write in and take your little notes. And they're just so pretty and girly. This one had butterflies on it. I love butterflies. And the colors of this one with the little lilac and the peacock. And so I got all of those because I really liked the packaging. And now there's some more products. Um, this was during the anniversary, the Nordstrom anniversary sale from Lorac. Um, I couldn't make up my mind which one I liked best because I liked both of them. I think I liked the colors of the eyeshadows in this one better, but I liked the print on this one better. So I couldn't make up my mind, so I ordered both of them so I would have both of the beautiful packaging of the flowers. Just really, really pretty. And got those. 
some more products because of the packaging. Couldn't decide. Decided to get both from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Her little packaging, the um, Tamana pa palette and the um, Maya Mia. So again, because of the packaging, especially this one with the animal print and then this one with the little, looks like kind of a Moroccan type print on there from Sephora. Bought this big old thing. It's a blush, or not a blush, it's a bronzer. It's almost too light of a bronzer for me. But golly gee, I needed, I had to have it because I just loved the whole aesthetic of this, the way it looked, and the colors, and the size of it. That got me too, so got it. I told you there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot that got me to um, purchase just because of the packaging. Yeah. Oh, here we go. From YSL. I bought this with this special limited edition like animal print packaging on it. And this one was kind of funny because after I got it and got to look at it, I'm thinking, well, you know, these colors look very familiar. Well, duh, I had the exact same palette, but just in the original packaging already in my stash or collection. But because of this really cute packaging, I thought I was getting something different. And so, anyway, I have this one. The other one I sold. Packaging, once again, made me buy something that I already had. Mm hmm Here's another product from MAC that I forgot. And this was from the, um, oh, Guo Pai. I, I don't know, but it was a, a Japanese collection that they came out with. And to me, this has probably been one of the most sophisticated collections that they actually came out with. Just very elegant and ladylike and not too cutesy and girly, but it's a really pretty blush. Even the embossing or the imprint on here was really pretty. So I have that along the same lines of just being very sophisticated and elegant was from um, Charlotte Tilbury. And this was, again, um, I forgot what the, the man's name, but this was off, um, he was a very famous photographer, and this was some of his photography that they took and made into the smaller prints on these um, compacts. This was just a highlighter. Norman, Norman, Rock, Norman Rockwell, was that right? No, that's not it, no. Norman Parkinson, that was it, Parkinson. I knew it was Norman something, but anyway. So Jean, speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, her lipstick packaging, I just think is so retro and elegant. I mean, this would definitely be something that you would see the ladies um, pulling out of their little clutch purses, you know, where they would have their gloves on and their little hats and just dressed very nice to go out and they would pull this out in the powder room not at the dinner table but in the powder room and just pull this out and um, touch up their lips before going back out and smoking their cigarette <laughs> but anyway yeah just very very elegant and got that for the packaging for sure okay Benefit. Let's talk about Benefit and their little boxed blushes. My goodness, Dallas, Bella Bomba, Rocketeur, Rocketeer, Rocketeur. Um, I want the, the new one that they've come out with about um, California, the California gal or something. But again, um, these are bulky. They're not easy to store. They're not easy to travel with, but I still want to get them because I just love the packaging on them. So, have those. I have this little um, Guerlain lipstick. Um, this definitely was the packaging that got me on this one because it's pretty cool. It's, I mean, it doesn't look very awesome here, but it's just the way that it works because you have to pull it and then twist it and then it has a little mirror there that you pull out so that you always have your mirror handy for your lip application 
and this thing is bulky it's heavy I hardly ever use it because of that reason because it's so heavy and everything but I had to have it because of that cute little mirror that it was there and now I have like a 10 pound lipstick to carry around with me because <laughs> it is that's heavy I mean I could use that as a weapon just chunk it at somebody and knock them out with it um, speaking of cute lipstick packaging these little guys from Rimmel um, these are the Everlast Stay Everlast um, Provoca Lips Long Last Lipstick which is my favorite formula of all time but got them mainly because of the little lips all the way around the lid there just so cute so and I have pretty much every color that's in the line um, because once I got those and used them I found out that I really liked them Oh boy, where are we going to go for now? This one product wasn't so much the packaging, the outer packaging, but the way that the product looks on the inside. And I consider it to be the packaging because the whole packaging itself is clear. So that is what you see is the actual product. And it's the Clinique, um, Clinique Pop Cheek Pops with the Daisy imprint. Gotta love having a blush that looks like a daisy. So pretty. So, again, packaging. <sighs> Tom Ford. Tom Ford. Tom Ford. Oh, uh, why do your products have to be so expensive? But his summer collections that he comes out with during the summer are in this white and gold, just very sleek and elegant and sophisticated looking packaging <sighs> very uptown upscale yeah mainly for the packaging love that packaging you can't go wrong with chanel just your basic black simple but elegant chanel packaging with the little white cc's get me every time I love the Chanel emblem I think it's so pretty simple but classic enjoy it love it okay I think I want to wrap up and talk about one other product that I bought strictly for the packaging was this product here and this is from Guerlain and it was a special edition meteorites for holiday 2000 15 because I didn't buy last year's holiday one even though I wanted to very very bad but I had this one I hadn't hardly even used it and I didn't want to get another one but strictly because of the little packaging on the top looks like a little dome it almost reminds me of like a um, snow globe where you would shake it and you would have the little snow falling down so for the packaging so anyway that is it that's what I um, fell for the packaging and purchased all the stuff <laughs> because of the packaging um, the marketing teams for these companies they did their job they they got me to buy it and spend my money and I'm sure there are products in your house in your makeup room or your makeup area that you purchased because of the packaging Anyway, um, feel free to join this tag if you do um, YouTube videos. I would love for you to do the tag. And um, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And also subscribe and click on that little bell icon so that you are notified of future videos. Bye.